All right, welcome. Uh, this, on this video clip, we're going to do uh, October 2014 exam paper, question 3-2. Given the following information, C equals 100 plus 0 0.8Y and Y equals 2,000. Calculate and show all your formulas and calculations when, um, to derive induced consumption if Y equals 2,000, consumption spending if Y equals 2,000, savings if Y equals 2,000. On the board you can see what I've done, I've written the consumption spending which says that consumption equals autonomous consumption and induced consumption. For the first part we need to derive induced consumption which is this part. Okay, So we take this and say CY. The small c refers to the marginal propensity to consume meaning this is the part of total income that the client or the, the consumer will spend of, of total income. Right. In our, it's been given that small c is 0 0.8 and y is 2000. So to derive you say 0 0.8 times 2000 equals it's 1,600. That is all that you needed to do with the first part of the question. The second part asks you to do consumption spending, which is your total consumption. This is the formula that you can use, saying that C equals autonomous consumption plus induced consumption. In the first part, we have derived what is induced consumption. All you need to add is the autonomous consumption which is given saying that it is a hundred. So it's then a hundred which then gives you a thousand seven hundred. That's the only, that's, that, is, that is what is expected from you to do in this part of the question. The, the easiest way to to work out savings is, is to use the following formula saying that savings equals total income minus total consumption and and savings is, is the part of total income that is not spent and we know that, that total income is 2000 minus the, the total consumption that we worked out in this question which then equals to 1700 so the part of the total income that the consumer is not going to spend, which is then going to save, is 300. What I'm going to do now is just to illustrate what we, have, we focus on giving the marks for. In the first question, it's for the equation that you use and the answer. In the second part, is the equation and the answer. And the third part of the question is the equation and the answer.